you guys. So we have a lot to talk about, okay? <laughs> we have a lot to talk about. Happy Vlogtember. If you guys are new to my channel, Vlogtember. I've been trying to do this for years, y'all know. But I'm really making an effort this year to post extra content for the month of September, which is my birthday month, which is why we call it Vlogtember. So my hope is that I can get a video out for y'all every other day this month. But we shall see. Y'all know how I am. Y'all know how my schedule is. But I just got off of a interview call. So let's talk about this. Okay, I'm not going to go into detail right now. I'll probably do like a detailed life update as to why I am looking for other employment and how I came about making that decision. So uh, this is week two of me putting in applications, uh, submitting applications, putting in my resume, all that kind of stuff. Um, I have had two interviews. I had one yesterday. I had one last week. Um, the first interview went great. We had a great conversation. It went really well. Um, and then the one yesterday, it went well, but I'm not sure if I, there was two questions that they asked me and I'm not sure if they are one of those companies that are willing to train in those two areas that I didn't have experience in. Um, so it went well, but like I said, I'm not sure exactly what they're looking for in that particular role. And both companies are great companies to work for. So I'm just honored that I even got the chance to get to the point of having an interview. If y'all see gnats flying around, I just threw out some fruit. So don't mind the gnats, the fruit flies. But um, yeah, y'all, so that's what I've been up to. That's why I've been gone for a minute because of course I wanted to take my time and think about this decision. It's a huge, huge decision to make, one. And then two, um, I wanted to kind of get my feet wet, put my feet to the ground, you know, get back in there. I haven't looked for jobs in almost five years. So it's a totally different market, especially after COVID. And, you know, I'm just trying to get my feet wet as far as getting back into this process, but I'm really, really excited about it. So yeah, y'all, like I said, I started submitting my resume top of last week. This is week, excuse me, two. Um, I haven't submitted too many resumes since the end of last week to today. So that is something over the next couple of days that I'm gonna be doing. But y'all, let me tell you how good God is because y'all, Y'all know I started the Girl Work Collective last year, right? And I met my friend. I met a lot of friends through the group, but a couple friends in particular. And I just have to shout out my friend DL because she came through for your girl. So we were talking, I was telling her about my decision to submit my resume and put myself out there. And she was like, Hannah, you know, I do this like for my job. She worked, I'm not going to say where she works, but she works in higher education. And this is what a part of her duties, this is something that she does daily and so she was like Hannah just send me your resume over and I'll like proof it and you know give you some notes y'all I submitted my resume to her she looked it over gave me the notes gave me the pointers revamped and rejudged my resume y'all and I kid you not I don't know if it was because of the resume or what but the next day I started getting like some pings for interviews and things like that and I was like okay like it was just like such a good feeling to have, I wouldn't say friends in high places, but it just made me feel good to have like a friend that could help me in that area. Like I've never had that experience with um a friend. So shout out to you, DL girl, like, yes. But not only that, like Brittany, Michelle, like I was like, hey y'all, like, do you mind if I put you down as a resume reference? They were like, yeah, girl, like gave me their information. So it was just really, really, I guess, it was just a good feeling to know that I have friends that will support me through the process. Nicole, like I reached out to her, letting her know like, hey girl, like this was been going on. That's why I haven't been hitting you up and blah, blah, blah. She was just giving me encouragement. So I appreciate all of you guys. I really do. And even my coworker, like we're, we're friends. We'd be talking outside of work. And I was telling her, you know, about my, my thoughts on it and stuff like that. And I was telling her how I felt a little insecure about putting myself out there because the first four or five days y'all like I wasn't hearing anything back like it was cricket so I was like well maybe I'm not as qualified as I think I am like maybe I should just like just 
give it up and she was like Hannah are you kidding me like you're great like she was like you're you're qualified for any position you want just giving me that encouragement so I was just this past week up until now has been just a eye-opening experience for me and just having people around me who um are encouraging and supportive that means the world to me that means the world to me so um yeah i just wanted to share this with you guys because y'all know i do work content on my channel and this is a huge change for us like this is the only job i've been at since i've been vlogging on youtube so this is going to be a change i don't know how long this process will take um but regardless i'm going to bring y'all through the process my goal is to hopefully lord willing before the end of the year have this change made that's my goal um so like i said i'm just going to put the pedal to the metal put out my resume you know check these job boards daily um put in the work that needs to be done go on these interviews and hope for the best so yeah y'all just keep me in prayer um i've just been praying that the right position opens up for me and if it's not the right position keep that door closed because my whole thing is like my job now is not bad and like i said later down the line i will tell y'all i will tell y'all not in detail of course but i will tell y'all generally why i've come to this de decision but at the base of it is i'm not happy going into work that's the base of it i'm not happy going into work i don't want to be there um but i am grateful for my job i'm grateful for everything they've done for me but it's just time for that change to be made i also know that wherever i do end up the grass is not always greener on the other side. I feel like that's the whole thing. Like, yeah, I may find A, B, and C that I'm looking for there, but you're gonna have new personalities that you'll have to work with. You know what I'm saying? Especially coming from a small office like I do, I feel like most places are much bigger than my office. So new personalities, new things, challenges, all that kind of stuff, y'all. So I'm just trying to mentally prepare myself <laughs> to be in that space again, because y'all know before I worked at this position, I used to work at a call center. It was a whole lot, a whole lot, a whole lot of personalities, a whole lot going on. So yeah, y'all, I know it's just going to be a big transition, you know, the interview process, the hiring training process. I know it's going to be a lot, but I'm just, you know, being optimistic about it i'm being optimistic about it so yeah but anyway let me go ahead and get in the car and we'll continue this conversation because i have a lot to talk to y'all about and yeah all right i'm back i don't know what i did to my car mount but i'm gonna fix it later i don't have time to fix it and so let me just let me just do a little blurb, okay, about vlog timber. So, y'all see the changes? Let me know down below how you like the new intro, the new outro, the new banner, the music, all of that, okay? Let me know how you like it. Let me know how you like it down below in the comments. Also, you will see the join button. So, I have opened up channel memberships. So, you guys will see if you click the join button, it'll show you the three tiers that are available what's included in each tier um you will see that i have my emoji and uh badges there as well i will be continuing first of all the girl that did it i like it but she made me okay so she first made me super super light so i was looking hispanic and then i was like he make it a shade darker and she came up with this so i'm gonna keep it as is for now um, but I am eventually going to change the badges later to look more like me because I feel like the the little emojis don't quite look like me. So I'm going to add more badges and emojis and I'm going to change the ones that I have as well. But if you are a member, you will be able to use the ones that are there now. So if you want to be a member and, you know, look cute in the comments or whatever, get extra video content, all those teams extra updates that you won't see here on youtube i will be on instagram as well so all of that y'all all of that so just check out the membership if you guys are interested in that also because it is vlog timber and because it is my birthday month my cash app is down below in the description box because last year y'all were getting on me like hannah like 
because you know me y'all like I always tell y'all I'm not gonna ask y'all for money if you're not getting anything out of it from me but y'all were like Hannah like stop blocking your blessings blah 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 like we want to send you stuff for your birthday blah 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 so the cash app is there if you guys want to send me some you know some change for my birthday or whatever it's there and that's the only time I'm gonna say something about it so boom make sure that you guys look in my description box because I have updated my like equipment links my description box verbiage all that I've updated all of that um, as well as my about me page and yeah so I'm just really excited about vlog timber I feel like this year I'm actually doing it but like every year I'm like oh vlog timber and I don't come through with the vlog timber content so I'm really really excited to be doing this this year um so yeah let me know how y'all like it and like I was telling y'all I'm hoping to produce more content for you guys this month but anyway I just had a moment y'all because before I press the record button I was looking at my background y'all remember Betty like y'all remember the days where we couldn't even drive and vlog because Betty was so loud oh Betty like y'all I used to fly in Betty I like my Hyundai but I will say the Hyundai don't drive like a Honda the Hyundai don't drive like a Honda and if y'all have had a Honda y'all know what I mean y'all those Hondas be flying I cannot fly like I used to in this Honda because my Honda y'all I'll be like shoo, shoo, shoo. like y'all can't tell me nothing in my Honda but anyway so that's the vlog timber announcement I'm so glad that we are here I'm so glad that God has allowed me to see another year and I'm happy about it Libra season but I digress and also <laughs> let me just y'all I'm on a tip today so let me just be also I want to say um happy birthday and happy belated birthday to all my Virgo babes my sister just had her birthday last weekend so I was over at my sister's house and let me tell y'all what happened I'm finna embarrass myself let me tell y'all what happened I went over my sister's house last Saturday to celebrate her birthday her birthday is on the 27th of August and we were just having a real real chill day like super super chill so <laughs> we go outside and um, they had bought my niece Corey a swing set so <laughs> y'all I'm such a kid I'm such a kid this is the third or fourth time or the second or third time I've done something stupid on the trampoline and now swing set I have footage too when I insert the footage y'all are gonna be dying so I don't know what if what I was thinking in my mind y'all know I am fluffy okay your girl's big your girl's fluffy and so I saw my niece Corey swinging on the little monkey bar swing so I don't know what in my mind said Hannah go for it but I went for it so in the footage I'm about to show y'all I was asking my sister I was trying to ask her have you swung on this before because I was concerned about my weight and breaking the thing in half and good thing that I didn't fly like I thought I was gonna fly because I would have for sure broke the swing in half so in the footage I'm about to show y'all I was asking my sister like have you done this before she was like no she's like the only time I use it is if I'm trying to stretch my back out and so I guess it didn't register what she had said to me so I just went for it and this is what happened like you did it though no no i can't lift my foot no i'm saying that will it hold will this hold yeah i just want to do like this hey, i don't swing right here i just do like this i can hear that up here get my back uh -huh. and then i do like this i'm saying will it
for months. Like, this is hilarious. My wig shifted back, y'all. I had grass in my mouth. Y'all, <laughs> it was a whole lot, a whole lot, of, a whole lot, a whole lot of, but I had to insert that clip because we were dying. Like, we were all playing that clip back, like, 10, 15 times. It was so funny. But anyway, y'all, I'm on my way to work. So, let me get to work. to pop into Marshall's to see if they have any fall candles. I wanted to go to Bath and Body Works, but that's too far away to be going on my lunch break. So I'm just gonna go over here to Marshall's and see if they have any fall candle scents. And when I get home later on today, I'm gonna break out my fall stuff and, you know, get in the mood. Once September hits, it's fall in my mind. <laughs> period once September hits it is fall so that's what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna buy any additional fall decorations because I just don't feel like doing that um, but I am going to see if I can find me some candles so let me go in here see what they have pick up two sets of short short nails because I took my last set of nails off because they were too long for the interview process so um yeah y'all the next I mean from here on out I'm gonna have to do short so I picked up the short natural and then a short nude pink set so I'll probably do that tonight or tomorrow I've been rocking my natural nails the past few days and then I've seen good reviews about this is this Maybelline what brand is this yeah this Maybelline Superstay vinyl ink lip I still haven't taken my pictures for my new profile picture so I'm gonna do that between today and tomorrow so I picked up this lippy because I think this will be a really cute look I'm trying to do cheetah so I feel like a red lip with cheetah would look cute but I didn't want to do like a traditional red lip so I got this like almost like a berry color really pretty like a raspberry that's what it looks like so I'm hoping I do not do red lips but I'm hoping that this lip color will be cute for the pictures so yeah y'all that's what I picked up from CVS and then earlier when I went to uh when I went to Marshall's didn't I tell y'all that I wasn't going to pick up any home decor? I ended up picking up home decor because, y'all, this piece is just so cute. I could not pass this piece up. Just so cute to me. They had two of them, but the other one was cracked. Y'all, this is just so cute. And I feel like it's such a simple piece. So I feel like it will go with any decor scheme. But I thought that was so cute. A little ghost to put, like, on your fire mantle i thought that was so freaking cute so i picked that up and then i did find a couple candles as well this guy was in the store helping me pick out candles because he was looking for a candle for his wife's birthday so i was helping him pick up pick out candles and he was helping me pick out candles but i got this dw home maple pumpkin candle this one smells really good i'll probably end up taking the decor off because it doesn't match my fall decor but y'all this smells really really good this is definitely fall and then this other one i picked up Ooh, i almost broke it i really picked it up for the packaging because the packaging is so freaking cute and this one is apple spice and this one smells really really good as well so y'all let me go ahead 
I'm gonna get something to eat from Gusto because like I said I did not fix anything for dinner so I'm gonna get something from Gusto stay at home but this is the perfect this is the perfect weather to cuddle up at home and watch a fall movie so I have my list ready too I have my list ready I'll probably do movie night on Friday um so yeah y'all let me get home safely I did get some packages from Amazon at work today so I'll show y'all what I picked up from Amazon when I get home let me show y'all what I picked up from Amazon I got a new planner for this year and next year this is really cute I have to get spiral bound planners because those other ones get on my nerves like I have to be able to flip the page completely so I can write on the page so I'm excited about this y'all know normally most planners end in August of the previous year so the one that I have multiple planners the one that I'm talking about ended so I got this one to go into next year and this is so freaking cute I love the print on it so got that and then I did some pre-birthday shopping for myself so I did pick up a splurge item um, something that I've been eyeing for a few months now this bag from Aldo y'all this is so cute especially for fall so I picked this up as one of the birthday gifts to myself. And she is cute. She is cute and she is giving. Oh, I love. First of all, the size of the bag is cute. Where's my scissors? Y'all, look at this. So cute for fall. It has all the fall colors cream brown orange red so i'll have this linked as well and this is such a cute size such a cute size so this is a birthday gift for myself and this was under under 70 dollars i think it was like 65 dollars maybe less than that so i got that I picked up a new wallet, but this is more so, I mean, this is also like a splurge, but this is more so for um, budgeting purposes. It's a cash envelope wallet system. So as y'all can see, it's much bigger than my other wallet, but it's specifically to hold your cash envelopes and whatever, um, you know envelopes and binders you want to have inside your envelope as well as your cards and things like that so this is a must it comes in different colors they had red they had pink teal so and it's pretty nice quality too so yeah i'll have all this stuff linked down below and it does come as y'all saw with the inserts as well as even more inserts and it comes with a strap as well so yeah y'all will see me using this fully functionally in the budget video so make sure that y'all watch that stay tuned for that and then i picked up these shoes i thought this print was so cute these i got in a size nine so i'm gonna see how i like them they're pretty they're pretty well made so we'll see how comfortable they are, but these are really cute. I might wear these tomorrow. My camera cut off, but yeah, I was saying that these are really cute for fall and they have a ton of different colors and prints in this style. So if I end up liking these shoes, I'm definitely gonna go and get the other colors and patterns because these were under, these were like $20 or $23 or under that, so. Yeah, I'm going to see how I like them. And then the last thing that I picked up that I have been eyeing for a minute is this multi-function phone holder box. So y'all know, if you watch the budget videos, I was saying how my tripod that I use for overhead filming um, stopped working. So I got this. This was, it's not a splurge, but it was $65, I believe. And 
you have two basically two tripods in one as well as a ring light and it's compact so you can break all of this down to fit in this box to carry with you for traveling and things like that so i'm gonna probably put this together tomorrow because i have to film my budget video tomorrow so i will show y'all when i put this together i heard really good things about it the reviews were really good on it it was heavy too so i got this for my budget videos and sit down videos like get ready with me a part of the membership will be extra content so that extra content will be chit chat get ready with me's and story times so if you guys want the extra content be sure to become a member so you can get that extra content honey because i feel like chit chat get ready with me's random ones don't do well on my channel so i decided to do those as extra content for y'all in the memberships along with some story times dating story times work story times life story times <laughs> um as well as anything else i want to just produce and put out for y'all so be sure to stay on the lookout for that um and y'all will also like i said have access to me on instagram y'all see extra pictures videos and pictures of charlie and all that good stuff so yeah y'all that is what i picked up let me go ahead and put all this stuff away i'm gonna do some cleaning around the house and i'll probably pick y'all back up tomorrow guy 
And so I was like, oh, okay, thank you. He was like, you know, how about I give you my number? And I was like, oh, okay. I was like, okay. But mind y'all, trying to get my life together in checkout, okay? So it was like, I was looking at him. I was paying attention. I was, you know, having a little banter back and forth. Sir, you better watch out for my car. I know that. I was, you know, having a little banter back and forth, but it was like a distraction. It was almost like a distraction. And... I wasn't giving him like my full attention and so I was like oh, okay yeah because in my mind I was like okay well you see me trying to put myself on the checkout line so you know you'll probably just ask me for my number or vice versa once I finish doing that so it was like an awkward pause because the checkout people are waiting for me to put the stuff on the line and he's waiting for me to respond so and then there's people behind him so I'm like sir I appreciate the compliment and all that, but same time, I'm not going to hold up the line. So, I'm doing all that. So, I finally finished putting my stuff up there, and I'm waiting for them to check the stuff out so I can pay. And it was just like awkward silence. <laughs> it was awkward silence. I was like, well, like I was kind of looking over like, well, you're not asking me for my number, vice versa. You know, conversation's kind of over. So, that was that. And then that's when I asked him, I was like, oh, how old are you? He was like 35 and you. And I was like 28. He was like, all right, all right. And then he had said something. I didn't really hear what he said. Um, and then I checked out and I was just like, like, I was just in my mind. I'm like, well, I guess that's that. And so I just left. And so he had said something. I heard him say something when I left, but he was asking me for my number. So I was just like, well, I don't know what to do about that interaction. <laughs> so... I get outside rolling my cart to the car and I was in one aisle but I realized my car was on the other side and then this old man was talking to me about his door jamming random people be talking to me y'all all the time so <laughs> I was like entertaining the old man I crossed the street and I happened to cross as the guy from the store was walking out so I was looking I was like oh lord and then I was like oh hey and then he was like hey he was like well I hope you have a good day and I was like, you too? He was like, stay beautiful, da-da-da. And that was it, y'all. So I was just like... <laughs> I was like, well, I mean, I don't know what to do about that. Like, it's not technically my fault, but it is my fault. Y'all know how I am. That interaction is 100% my fault. And I hope this man don't give no second thoughts to this interaction because it was 100% on me. I was being awkward, super, super awkward. And like I said, my mind... My mind is not even in a place to think about dating right now, honestly. Like, the next six months, I don't even see myself entertaining dating at all because I just have too many, I have too many things that I need to focus on. I hope my interaction with him doesn't make him lose faith in dating and lose faith in picking up women and all that kind of stuff because my butt, it was 100% me. Like I said, it was me. And now God was like, Hannah, I'm like, I ain't finna keep putting these men in these places for you to meet and you're not picking up on the opportunities ma'am I do feel like you're more likely to meet people when you're not looking to meet someone but today was just not the day and he just wasn't the one for me today so that's what it is but I know y'all can be like Hannah like first the guy from discount tire now this guy <laughs> y'all y'all don't come for me but I had to tell you that story because just a whole lot a whole lot of but I'm about to head back into work and then um I'll probably pick up the camera when I get off work because I picked up some stuff for dinner we're gonna make us a nice cozy fall dinner I'm gonna put up my fall decorations and all that good stuff so I'll check in with y'all later on I just put out my fall decor look what I found your girl is looking saucy period 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 <laughs> <laughs> y'all this was literally five years ago this is when i first moved into this apartment i thought i was hot stuff okay i had got the keys i had invited my two girlfriends at the time over and we went out to this club near my house and y'all i thought i was really doing something if i can find the other pictures from that night i thought i was doing something and your girl was cute okay I was looking real cute but yeah like if i knew then what i knew now honey if i knew then what i knew now but yeah this is diamond that was my friend at the time we've lost touch but still have good memories so i will be keeping this photo but i just had to break this out because your girl was looking real cute we were both looking cute
cooking me a quick dinner, y'all. I just finished fixing my soup. I'll show y'all in a second. I'm just gonna pop these crab cakes into this pan. And I have me a nice, quick, nice country fall dinner. I've never fixed crab cakes like this, but the instructions said just to heat up some oil, but I'm using some butter and just to fry the crab cakes until they're golden brown. So that's what I'm, ooh, that's what I'm gonna do y'all. And I'll show you my, so I'm gonna squeeze some lemon on this too. And I'll show y'all my final dinner once I put it together.